a tassel or a stole. Do not be fooled by this sea of green and white, where each graduate may seem to blend in. Each face is as unique as each graduate's path to graduation. Some paths were no doubt rockier than others, but what matters most is that as each of our paths have crossed and diverged throughout high school, they meet here on this field tonight. And as we come together one final time, let us embrace the bond we share that has ultimately unified us as one school, one community, and one family. In September 2009, we came from our respective districts, Linwood, Northfield, and Summers Point, and became one here in Land Regional. It is a scientific miracle that when you mix a cardinal, a panther, and a jaguar, you get a Mustang. <laughs> After four years, 10,980 bells, it seems like just yesterday, the Corral Crazies cheered on the Mustangs at the mainland Ocean City football game that went into triple overtime. It seems like just yesterday, we walked into school on the first day of junior year to find the corner of W and N halls curiously missing. It seems like just yesterday, we shocked the world with our undeniable strength and spirit. The days of hall passes and late bells are in our past. Today, it feels strange knowing the next hour we spend here tonight will be our final moments in high school. Each day seemed to drag as we awaited 2.39 p.m., yet tonight is flying by. As eager as we are to receive our diplomas tonight, we hope to make this very moment linger, to take one more picture, to look around one last time, and to cherish the faces of those with whom we have spent so much of our youth. Our growth as young men and women has been parallel to that of mainland regional. We have grown up with not only our friends, but also with our school. As our school developed a new appearance, adopted a new schedule, and offered increased privileges, we have done the same. Our faces have changed. Our routines are different. Both our freedoms and responsibilities are more abundant. We look at ourselves, at our peers, and at the very walls of our school and see only glimpses of what used to be. But we are not sad, although our tears may suggest otherwise. Rather, we take pride in such accomplishments that show how far we have come and how far we will go. In this way, we share an exceptional bond with Mainland because we have both experienced the pains and joys of maturing, learning, loving, and losing. Just like the bricks and tiles that make up Mainland, our legacy as the class that reshaped Mainland will last long into the future. What, you may ask, does this growth entail? How, you may ask, have the graduates of the class of 2013 grown and matured alongside this very school? First, you should know that here at Mainland we do things just a little differently. We don't follow a traditional schedule, we don't serve traditional school lunches, and we don't necessarily have to put our cell phones away during class. Secondly, you should know that the students are just a little different too. The class of 2013 is unique in that we have never taken no for an answer. We have never backed down from a challenge. We have accomplished what people insisted would be impossible. We held classes during a construction upheaval where our teachers had to compete with the sounds of drills and hammers. The administrators, with their fingers no doubt crossed, bestowed onto us countless freedoms and trusted that we would actually come back after leaving for lunch, which we did. <laughs> we have turned tragedy into victory, and although we are forever changed by the loss of our peers, friends, and teammates, we will never, ever forget their legacy. Finally, with the support of this community, we became the most undeniable school in the nation. Today, more so than any other day, is proof that no matter what obstacles we have faced, 
we have not only risen above such doubt and adversity, but have resurfaced as a stronger and more unified front. The path was not easy, but in four years, we knew every step of the way that we were not alone. I would be remiss if I did not admit, on behalf of the class of 2013, that high school was a great challenge. As we have made friends and made memories, we have also made mistakes and have had to make difficult choices. But in four years, we have grown to embody the true essence of a Mustang. Strong, determined, insistent, and sometimes wild. Author Jill McCorkey wrote, the longest and most expensive journey you will ever make is the one to yourself. Many pack a bag for the journey, fewer buy a ticket, and even fewer arrive at the destination. But graduates, tonight we are receiving a ticket to make that most important journey. We are receiving our diploma. It is our golden ticket, not found by luck, wrapped in a bar of chocolate but rather earned through years of diligent effort, demanding sacrifice, and unwavering discipline. Our diplomas are invaluable and will take us to any destination at any time. We just have to decide we want to get on the train. We must find our very own platform nine and three quarters. We must find the room to grow, just as we have done for the past four years. Years from now, we will look at pictures taken tonight, and as we reminisce, let's not only acknowledge those pictured, let's also appreciate those behind the camera. Parents, siblings, grandparents, coaches, and teachers past and present, those who with their wise words, quirky sayings, admirable examples, and worn out jokes, have been a consistent stream of encouragement and assurance. This day is as much a celebration of you as it is of us. Although we may take you for granted, always know that your love and guidance has allowed us to confidently and courageously embark on one of the most intimidating journeys of our lives. From you, we learn to discover the power we have within ourselves to be our own driving forces. To our families, in a few months we will realize how much we appreciate that you did our laundry, drove us to school, made every game, worked two jobs, or sat in the front row at every performance. To our coaches and teachers, each and every day you have taught us, at times with much resistance, how to be excellent students and even better young men and women. We are eternally grateful to you, and today we vow to carry each valuable lesson we have been taught with us into the future. As we hold our diplomas tonight, we are reminded that knowledge is the most powerful possession. Graduates, you have been my peers, friends, and teammates for four years, and I thank you for making these years we have spent together memorable. As our paths diverge yet again, never forget that you will always be a part of Mainland, and Mainland will always be a part of you. Good luck and best wishes in your future endeavors.